I am pleased to welcome the president of Monroe Community College, Dr. Deanna R. Bertanana, to the program. President Bertanana, thanks for a few minutes. Great to see you. Thank you so much, Mark. MCC has a uh, diversity conference coming up on Friday, October 1st. What is the plan here? What is the conference about? Our virtual conference is forging a path to an inclusive campus culture and will increase awareness and inequities in higher education and explore how colleges and universities can become stronger champions for diversity, equity, and inclusion on campus and in our local community. Equity coaches from New York University will guide us in developing solutions to better serve our students. You know, unfortunately, the facts are true um, among students of color. They earn below average wages and therefore often qualify for Pell Grants. Um, they withdraw from college without a degree at higher rates than our Caucasian peers. And as a result, they have higher rates of student loan debt and burdens, defaulting on loans. Beyond the conference, uh, President Bertnana, how do you envision MCC's role in helping close the racial and economic equity gaps in Rochester and improve the poverty rate across Monroe County? You know, fortunately, MCC has six decades of being committed to its mission to access an opportunity for all. We've maintained that commitment with laser-like focus, with an unwavering commitment on diversity, equity, and inclusion. But we're going to elevate the focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion um, in the years ahead, making sure that we leave no one in no zip codes across our region behind in our commitment to improving quality of life across our region. Um, the Finger Lakes Workforce Development Center, or commonly now referred to as the Forward Center, it's set to open in early next year on our downtown campus, and that will support our efforts as well. There, we'll be offering affordable, high-caliber education and training programs um, to diverse learners across the region and preparing them for in-demand, high-tech-oriented careers that pay living wages and are less vulnerable to future displacement. In what other ways will MCC engage our community addressing equity and racial justice? You know, through community partnerships, it's all about partnerships, and we as the community's college embrace that opportunity for partnerships. So we're proactively planning for the arrival, for example, of 1,500 families that will immigrate to our region from Afghanistan. Um, as our community's college, we, our doors are open to them and our commitment in supporting their success. We're already strategizing how to make that a positive transition to those families. And thanks to recent private philanthropy, a Women of Excellence program will be created at MCC and a scholarship funds will be available to Men of Excellence program participants, enabling all students of color to achieve success in and outside of the classroom. The Avangrid Foundation continues also to support MCC's Dream Keepers program, which helps students with expenses such as uh, basic need and securities around housing and food, utilities and child care, making sure that they're able to stay on track. President Bertanana, we appreciate your time. Uh, thank you so much and continued success with all of your endeavors at MCC. Thank you very much, Mark. Lots more online about the Diversity Conference. Go to monroecc.edu. We'll have that link with the full URL on our website at rochesterfirst.com.